Hello everyone, Jeffrey Turner here, aka Mega Jetty One, and you can bet on that. Alrighty, now then. Let me just hit the mute button there. And all right, reminder is set. Alrighty. Hey there, Trap. Welcome. So far, uh still waiting on Mad Squirrel. I only just sent the uh the link a few moments ago. Let me uh let me see if I can uh oh wait no that's just the uh, screen share there. Alrighty. So um but yeah today is going to be my 200 video and I thought you know why not do a watch party on the Paul Lynn show. So um let's see now. <sighs> and I retweeted it out the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the link to the video, the stream. So this way, uh, this way people want to join in, they'll know that it's, uh, that it's going on right now. Also, um, just as a forewarning, um, I will have the audio muted on the actual, uh, video feed of the show. So if you want to follow along, you're going to have to, uh, like maybe open up another tab with the uh, the actual uh, playlist that we're watching, so this way you can uh, listen to it while also listening to our comments and such. So, because um, yeah, we're just going to have our headphones on here, and if with the headphones on, you won't be able to hear the show. Perfect way to you know avoid copyright infringement and whatnot. So. Yeah, uh, while I'm at it, I'll uh, see if I can send more invites. Um, all righty. Who shall we send them out to? Uh, ba -ba -bum. Well, since you're here, Trap, I'll send one, you, one to you. This way, if you want to jump on at any time, feel free. And then... Uh, who else? Okay. Send one to Moira. And then, uh, where's Rosetta? Rosetta, where are you? Let's see. I get so many, uh, DM, uh, links to each person now. It's like, I got to try and keep up with all of them. There we go. Oh, wait. Come on. Click on the darn thing. I'm clicking on it, yet it's not accepting the click. I hate when that happens. Now, um, who else? Ah, send one to Annihilus. Been a while since I've seen him. Ah, and the rookie critic, just for the fun of it. Since he was so kind to uh, uh, help be part of the fandom collective and promoting my stuff. Okay. So far, I, yeah, I sent out. Oh, okay. Mad Squirrel just needs 10 minutes. Um, I sent one to Squirrel. That's one. Moira, that's two. Rosetta, three. Uh, Annihilus, four. And uh, Rookie Critic, five. Okay. Oh, and of course, Trap. So that makes six. All righty.
Oh. oh, let's flip over to the actual uh, feed of the stream. See what we got. Um, okay, so far only one is watching. All right, no worries. I mean, I understand uh, there are going to be some people who are still busy today, but uh, like for example, Drew and all that. So. Um, you know what? Since it's his birthday, I will send a link to Drew, even if uh, he is busy with his own stream. Just want to, you know, let put the option out there in case he wants to come on. All righty. Where's the link here? All righty. There we go. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, while we're waiting on uh, Mad Squirrel, um, I will go on about how I got into the Paul Lynn show. It was actually the... Uh, uh, what you call it? It was New Year's Eve of 2018. I was basically just uh, waiting for the, you know the ball to drop, and then all of a sudden, uh, our local station Newswatch 162, uh, also known as Antenna TV, though for or anyone who was not of the area, uh, Antenna TV was you know showing the Paul in show. I think it was like a the whole season marathon, and so. I, you know, I was just hearing some funny bits and I was like, okay, this sounds funny. And then I ended up, I just ended up watching it and got hooked. And then I was shocked to find out that it was only on for one season. So therefore, yeah, it had a short lived run, unfortunately, but it was so good that it left you wanting more. I think, I mean, uh, from what I do know, the, uh, about the Paul Lynn show is that, uh, Basically, it was um, it was supposed to be a replacement for Bewitched because when Bewitched got canceled in the 70s, they needed a replacement show. And so uh, the Paul Paul Lind, I believe, because he was so he was uh, he had a few cameos on the Bewitched or something like that. Um, and he was good with Hollywood Squares. They gave him his own show. And so that's how the Paul Lind show came about. But sadly, like Bewitched, it had a short run and got canceled. So. I still don't know why the Paul Lynn show got canceled, but um, I do know that for the short time that it was on, uh, it must have gotten a you know like a cult following of sorts because 
I was uh, coming onto YouTube wanting to, you know, do something like this, show the Paul Lynch show to everyone and, uh, you know, share my experience with it. And then I, so I was just reaching out to see if anyone had ever else had ever seen it. And then Mad Squirrel had seen it. And so that's why I asked if she'd like to co-host it with me. And uh, also, um, Antenna TV does still run uh, the Paul Lynch show um, Sunday mornings at midnight Eastern time. If anyone ever wants to, you know, watch the reruns. But today we're going to be streaming the episodes that were uh, posted onto the YouTube here. Uh, in fact, let me uh, scroll, uh, move over to the uh, to the page. Okay, yeah, the the part the the channel that posted this classic Saturday Night Television. They, uh, I'm guessing they uh, they like to put on uh, old TV shows, post them on YouTube. So. Um, I was just, you know, I typed in the Paul Lynn show one day and then I came across a whole playlist of episodes. At first I thought it was like the whole season, but it turns out they're just the odd number episodes and it doesn't even have all of them because I think there was like, what, 26, 27 rough episodes roughly of the whole season. So this is like uh, 1 through 17 odd numbers. Oh, wait, wait, my mistake. 1 through 19 odd numbers. So, uh, yeah, and uh, actually, let's see. One, three, five, seven. Uh, okay, so it skips nine, I think. Or did I skip nine? Where's nine? Where's nine? Where's nine? No nine on here. Okay. So yeah, one, three, seven. Uh, where was it? Where is it? 11, 13, 15, 17. Okay, so yeah, not every episode is on here, but there's a good amount. Each of them roughly like 23 minutes long, rough, give or take a few. Okay, yeah, roughly 23 minutes long with the exception of Pollution Solution. And I think that's the one that's my favorite because uh, that's the one that I recall the most, both when I first saw it uh, New Year's Eve 2018, as well as uh, the uh, when I started re-watching them again. So, hey, CJH, welcome. Uh, we're we're just waiting on Mad Squirrel, and uh, I send out links to to as many people as I could to see if they wanted to come on. So, um, uh, if you wanna, if you do wanna come on as a guest panelist, just uh, let me know. But um, yeah, just uh, waiting for Mad Squirrel, and then uh, we'll get this show started. And also, as a friendly reminder, um, this uh, this stream will have uh, headphones on. So if you want to, you know, hear the show as well as us uh, speak about it, then uh, you might have to open up another tab to this uh, this uh, playlist of the Paul Lynn Show by Classic Saturday Night Television. So that way you can uh, follow along with us and hear the show while listening to us. Alrighty then. Um, let's see now. Okay, retweeted that. And let's get back to this.
What's this? Uh, Mega Jetty, you think uh, you might do a G1 Transformers uh, watch party sometime? Um, never. I'm, I will be honest, Trap. Uh, the only Transformers I ever really got into as a kid was the Beast Wars CG cartoon. Never really was into basic Transformers. I never, I don't know what, so I wouldn't know what G1 Transformers is. But uh, when the movies did come out, I gave them a chance. And uh, I was told that I liked Beast, uh, that I liked uh, Transformers as a kid. I was like, really? I don't recall watching Transformers. And then I looked it up and I'm like, oh, Beast Wars was Transformers. I didn't know that. So yeah, um, I actually, believe it or not, I found a season or two of Beast Wars Transformers at on DVD at work one time and bought it. And so I have it. But uh, I never actually, so I don't know what G1 Transformers is. You'll have to educate me on that one. But uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, um, if uh, once I get into it, I'm pretty sure I might do a watch party of it sometime. Beast Wars is amazing. That's pretty much how you got into Transformers as well. Awesome. But yeah, because I mean, um, and I will say. When I heard that uh, when when the movies were coming out and not being as good uh, as like uh, the animated movie was, I then one time went into Walmart and I saw the Transformers animated film and you know what I saw I said to hell with it I'll buy it just to see what all the fuss is about and I'm like oh my gosh this was awesome and this was like an anime so I mean obviously I don't know if it was made in America or in Japan but the animation in that looked definitely anime like and it was awesome. And uh, what else? Um, oh, yeah, the song uh, of the film, the, You've Got the Touch, You've Got the Power. That was like, um, I first, I didn't hear that first time in the Transformers. I first time, the first time I heard that was in, um, uh, what was it called? Uh, oh, Shadow Warrior. Um, Shadow Warrior was a first person shooter uh, video game but it also allowed you to use a katana blade. It was like a Doom clone back in the 90s, but in 2013, they did a remake, and the game opens up with Lo Wang, the titular character of the game, driving to his destination while listening to that song on his uh, in his car. It was awesome. So I first heard it there, then I saw the Transformers film, heard that, loved it, and then I loved how it was used in Bumblebee. Bumblebee to me is the best live action Transformers and could rival the animated movie as the best Transformers film. Generation one started in 1984, had the original Optimus Prime and Megatron. Okay. Now, okay. Now I don't think I saw that. I mean, I saw the film, but I'm pretty sure the film must have been after that. But um, yeah, I never saw Generation one. I'll have to look into that now. Don't know. Do they have a uh, Generation one on YouTube? I mean, uh, I, I found the Paul Lynn show on YouTube, but uh, I don't know if Generation 1 Transformers is on YouTube for free to watch. And are they complete episodes and not just little snippets here and there? Oh, also, Trap, I uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I did send you a link on Twitter. If you would like to come on as, like, a guest panelist, you're more than welcome to. Just still waiting on Mad Squirrel. Taking a little longer than, uh, than, I, than, we, than we hope, but uh, she'll be here shortly. Okay. Oh, and uh, while we are uh, waiting, I will take this time to... Uh, mentioned that I did post uh, my technically my 201st video um, right after I you know scheduled the stream but it'll be I decided to schedule it to uh, premiere at like six o'clock at Eastern time so there's a good chance that it might that the stream might still be going by the time it uh, premieres but uh yeah it's basically the uh, latest in I was uh 
covering the the latest update news for Captain Marvel 2. And I know, I know, a lot of people don't like the Captain Marvel 1. Why should there be a Captain Marvel 2? But the news about it is so interesting that I just could not for the life of me cover it because, you know, it gives us some hope for what they did with the first Captain Marvel. It gives us some hope that uh, they'll, they're going to course correct and uh, undo the travesty of of what they tried to do by pushing Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, down our throats. Okay, uh, pretty tired though. Uh, you did a 3 a.m. stream this morning. Wow. Uh, where you played Street Fighter V with friends and had to go run some errands soon. Oh, okay. And thank you. But yeah, um, I will uh, take a quick moment, a quick moment to uh, un uh, screen share this just so that I can. Uh, uh, pull up my uh, my channel here, and I'll uh, quickly uh, tease the uh, the video that's going to premiere probably in the middle of the stream. Uh, what you call it? All right, where's the, yeah? Gotta go back to this. Screen sharing can be a task at times. I swear. All right, right after the Paul Lynn stream here, there it is. Anna Paquin's Rogue in Captain Marvel 2. That's the uh, the video that I'm premiering uh, later at 6. That's uh, about an hour and um, 39 minutes from now, I believe, if my math is correct. So I don't know if the... I'm pretty sure the stream might still be going on by the time it premieres. But uh, if you do want to take... But I think if we... Uh, when we do get to start watching the... The when Mad Squirrel gets here, when we start watching the shows, we'll take like a, a, a brief intervention. Ah, hello, Moira. Hey, cutie pie, how are you? Doing okay. How are you? I'm doing all right. I didn't see the link because I don't get notifications for Twitter unless someone is like, like, liked something or commented, but it doesn't ah. like tweets or messages. So I have to actually go into the mailbox manually to see if I have a message. Uh, in the mail, doing laundry, and I was like, oh, shit, he said that, like, almost 20 minutes ago. Holy crap, he's gonna think I'm an asshole. Oh, uh, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. It, uh, yeah, it's, apparently YouTube and Twitter are being a hassle to everyone these days. Yeah, definitely. Like, I'll look in my mailbox, I usually go through my mailbox, put a scan of it, and just get rid of the junk and all this, and then when I go to look at a uh, trash can, where you empty the trash can, then it shows me all the notifications. Oh, so and so went live on YouTube, and I'm like, where was this in my normal inbox? Mm. So I, I I can't figure that one out. So yeah, it's it's weird. But I didn't want to not say hi and come by. Oh no, what no worries. What are we up to? What are we watching? The Paul uh, show. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it was a show in the '70s. It uh, it was basically supposed to replace Bewitched, and uh, it uh, it had a short-lived run. Wait, isn't that the neighbor? No, that's not the neighbor. Who's a uh, guy looks familiar as hell though? He was also on Hollywood Squares. I barely, I can barely remember Joan Rivers being on it. That's about it. Ah. Uh. But yeah, the um the Paul Lynn show. I actually uh I first saw it in 2018, um the New Year's Eve of 2018, and I was enjoying it. And I was upset that it you know only had like one season. So. Man, I, I thought, get that stuff. I, it'll be like a show, and it'll be like a pilot or a season. You love it, and it never comes back, and you're like... Yeah, because there was a show that, like, about a decade ago called Flash Forward that was good, but it only lasted one season. I heard the, I heard of the title, but I, 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 I couldn't tell you anything about the show. I could. It was basically uh, one day everyone around the world just collapsed into unconsciousness for like a few minutes and they had like a, a vision of the future. Those that didn't have a future, a vision either were dead or for some reason they were unable to have a vision. Weird. So, so basically they use this knowledge to try and uh, alter events like prevent certain deaths and such. It was real cool. It was only like one season, but it was so good. I was disappointed that it didn't continue. And the actor who played Mary in Lord of the Rings was in it. Is that the blonde hobbit? Yep. Oh, thank God. Okay. 
I wasn't sure there for a minute. I was like, ah. oh, okay. <laughs> and welcome, Mad Squirrel. Oh my, God, my favorite squirrel in the world. <laughs> Hi, Maura. How are you? Oh, hey there, Mega Jetty. Sorry, I'm so late. <laughs> I was like wrangling, wrangling. And you know what's, <laughs> and you know what's interesting about this? The hmm. three of us, it's a reunion of the 100th video watch party. Oh, is it? Oh, my. Yeah, oh, yeah my fi God. the Firewalker watch party. That's where I first oh met God, Moira. Yes. Oh, my God. That's so crazy. Oh, I know. God. Oh, my God. So it's fitting that the three <laughs> of us un reunite for this one. Group hug. Group hug. This is all, this is all fancy talk right here. Uh -huh. Fancy talk. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Jesse Miller. Oh, welcome. Man. How are you guys doing? Yeah. There's this, oh, but speaking hey, of shows that got canceled, there was this pilot show I, I watched, and it was, oh, my God, I'd have to look it up. And it's so obscure. Like, nobody would know what the fuck I'm talking about. What's it called? Like, well, I'm getting to that part. But uh, it had uh, Frank Langella in it. And almost nobody remembers oh. him. The best most people remember is they play Skeletor. But he actually played Dracula in a 70s rendition of... Uh, uh, well, Dracula, and uh, <laughs> well, that's, that's the name of it. And he's, he's been in a few other movies, but he was Skeletor in the '80s in in the uh, uh, Dolph Lundgren movie. Uh, back when Dolph Lundgren looked like Dolph Lundgren, mm -hmm. and um, like the show was called Doctor Paradise, and it was about a doctor, and, well, a, a, a clinic that was set in like the Caribbean or whatever, mm -hmm. and like it was hilarious. It had a Sally, something like Kirkman or something. I can't remember how to say her name. She's good. like these days she'd consider a pretty obscure actress as well. And the show is hilarious. I loved it. And I think it was only like one episode. There was some guy that came, keep, kept coming into the clinic and he was like the hypochondriac or something. And he's like, Doctor, something's wrong with me, you know, in this, that. It could be this, some outlandish disease or something like that. And he, right. he, Frank Landale just puts his hand on his head and he's like, you are okay. And if you come to me and talk again <laughs> with anything else other than whatever, I will reach down your throat and I'll pull out everything that's your memory. And he's like, wow. oh my. I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see the Frank Langella being funny very often, but he was so deadpan with it. It was fucking great. And I loved it. I think it was in 1987 or something. It was mm. so funny. Wow. Like, we, hey, maybe we can pull it up. I don't think anybody would even bother copyright striking us for this. Like, like that's how obscure it is. Like, I don't think anybody would care. But uh, if you want to try to look up Doctor Paradise and see if you can pull it up, that would be funny to see if it's there. Oh, okay. Doctor Paradise. When, okay. Um, uh, hey, Mad Squirrel, why don't you tell hmm. us how you how you got into the uh, the Paul Lynn show? Oh my gosh, I I don't know. It was one of those accidental things. Because I like a lot of like the, um, I like watching a lot of like the clips from like the Tonight Show throwback stuff. <laughs> I really do. And so well, Paul Lind, he was on, I just started like, I got into Paul Lind because his humor was so quick on like Hollywood squares and stuff like that. And um, X makes the square. Anyway, so I just thought he was very sharp and very like quick witted. And then I started looking to see what other body of work he had done outside of Bewitched, you know, which is and just doing all these game shows so when i looked this up i it was by accident i found one of the episodes and it was a while ago and i was like what is this <laughs> and it was a long time ago on youtube when i just found it by accident so oh. yeah paul it's just it was just i, I kind of started because i like to watch like the um one of the best episodes of like the tonight show ever this was johnny Con carson though was the one um with i'm trying to think hold on it was with uh, dean martin and Bob Hope, and um, they had a comedian on there, which is eluding me now, but it was one of the best ones, uh, Dean Martin, and I'm trying to remember Dean Martin, Bob Hope, um, Johnny Carson. It was with George Goble, a comedian. And um, they, and, like Dean Martin came on completely sloshed, like absolutely blitzed, like legitimately blitzed, oh, not him just pretending. And they started messing with George Goble. And it was just like a, a huge, like it was like you were, it's, you felt like you were sitting in somebody's house and George came on, you know, he was the last guest on because D Martin decided to pop on, you know, back then they would just walk on sometimes if they were in town. So 
you know, Johnny Carson had given like Dean Martin and, you know, like Frank Sinatra and all them, like kind of like a card to just kind of come on whatever. Right. So Dean Martin had pushed back George Goble. This is like in 1969. And um, George Goble was like super irritated, just kind of, you know, being, you know, a little bit like uh, snarky. And in between the segments back then, you could smoke on the show and drink and stuff. And in between the segments uh, where the camera was, Dean Martin kept ashing into George Goble's like beer. And everyone in the audience saw it. Johnny Carson saw it, except George Goble did not. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> there was like God. an ashtray in his drink. And then everyone else was seeing it was live TV back then. It was just magnificent. It was like the best oh, segment no. ever. And after that, I started watching all the other ones, you know, just different. And it was always kind of that wild card. And Paul Lind was one of those. He wasn't as spicy, obviously, as Dean Martin, but he was definitely very quick witted. And then, yeah, salty action right there. Yeah, I think that's why I kind of liked uh, like Paul Lind the moment I heard his show on the New Year's Eve of 2018. Mm, okay. Yeah, so that's that when, when I got introduced. Yeah, I was, just, I was waiting for the ball to drop, and then that's when uh, you know we my stepdad had on our local Newswatch sixteen two, which is also known as Antenna TV. Um, basically, yeah, I just heard like the episode, the seventh episode actually, Pollution Solution, and it was funny. <laughs> you know, and George, uh, all of these comedians have that kind of like. Well, the 70s tumor is even better. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it started getting lower, a little bit more raunchy, but not too much. It was still like just enough. It was like the right, ba it was the right balance. Right. And like with the way that Paul would say like one liners, if you want to hear like the best of Paul, um, there's like, you know, the best of Hollywood squares or Paul Lind on Hollywood squares and his one liners are so fast and people often would just pick on him to hear what he would say. Uh. You know, they, so you would get a lot of those segments of him just popping lines off, like off the top of his head. It was really, I mean, quick humor is not for everybody. Like, you know what I mean? Like some comedians are very good, but they have to really uh, plan them out and structure it. And with him, it was just the way his brain worked. Yeah, You know, he would just be that, he would be that quick and intelligent answers too, not just him being sassy, you know, <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm just so yeah, I like him a lot. I think he's a cool dude. He was a colorful dude. Okay, um, before we do get started watching, um, if we were to, you know, if the sound were to be of this show were to be played, will we get copyright struck? I mean, it is a 70s show, right? Well, copyright yeah, is copyright, I, but uh, usually sometimes give me a copyright claim, which is usually what they give now, which only means when you get monetized, they might make money off that video. So it's not claim, yeah. it's not the same as a strike. They give you a I strike, honestly, just argue it yeah, and take it down. Yeah. Okay. Should we take a chance and uh, do it without headphones and let the sound be heard? I say let's be brave. I've done it. Yeah, it's up to you, Mega. You want to oh. do that? I think it. I mean, if it's already on YouTube, that's the big thing. It's already on YouTube. <laughs> so, how long has it been on YouTube? That list. I'm looking at it now, but uh, looks like since March of last year. Yeah. Only the playlist, rather. But I'm just curious. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, well, last updated on March 2019. Okay. Well, yeah. It right. Looks like the first one on here is January 2019. So whatever, we can go for it. <laughs> All right. Let's be brave then. We'll be brave. All right. We'll be Episode courageous. Episode one: Hallie comes to uh, home to roost. Oh my. That's a cute. Oh. <laughs> I have turned the volume. Oh my! <laughs> Gosh darn it, oh, the seventies. <laughs> as high as it'll go. Nice car, dude. She looks like she's throwing them across the room. There's some swinging music here. Oh god. <laughs> that was Norris, though, didn't it? Mm-hmm. God, he used to be so fucking blonde. Let me see. Yeah, the volume's up high, all as high as it can go. And I think it'll be okay. Wasn't he an I Dream a Genie? It's 
as well. Uh, Bewitched. I don't remember him. Bewitched. I don't remember him. He played Uncle Arthur, I think. Um. You gotta love that house bar. What time stamp are you at, Mega Jetty? Oh. Minute 50. Okay. A friend in quotes. <laughs> she knocked up. No. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Hey, Jesse. There. Forgot to put it in theater mode. <laughs> this stranger. <laughs> I like that little mad TV uh, drawing there. Yeah. <laughs> I get that look often and regularly. <laughs> like, that big grin, yeah. Like, uh, how do I tell him this? Kind of look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. He looks salty. <laughs> He's rich. Man, he that dude needs some <laughs> That dude looks uptight as hell. <laughs> Looking like a beach boy, that guy. Dude, that tan, though. Nobody cared about skin cancer. It was good days. Right. <laughs> I was out there with olive oil on. <laughs> nice name. Definitely some Chuck Norris hair right there. Yeah. Oh, God. How old is she? 15? Oh, God. It's hard or to 16. tell. She looks it. But she looks like she's drinking something different than everybody, too. The other one looks 12. She looks very young. I tell a lot of girls they're not allowed to date till they're 25. Right. And they're not allowed to have guy friends who have a car. I love that face of disdain he carries. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I am that face. Every day it's like... I've, it took years to control my mouth. But oh. Like, Tatas. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I wonder how many people go back then cover their kids' eyes on that. <laughs> they probably aired this at like nine at night or something. They're like, 
Yeah, you little bastard, risque. you to be in bed. <laughs> back, man, back then, if you wanted a good time, boy, you had to go to the National Geographic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, OG, welcome. <laughs> this guy. Oh, my God. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> are y'all seeing the chat or you're you're listening to the show yeah i'm looking at the chat while watching uh, okay because uh greg said uh, tan was very important as it still is especially if you're chubby because if you're tan then it's called thick <laughs> yeah because otherwise you don't you don't like uh, i'm a little chubby so i'm like i'm getting that rub on tan because then i can just look thick and it's okay <laughs> otherwise if i stay in the house and i don't get any color man i look like i'm close to death so how old, how old is this girl again? She's like what, sixteen? What did yeah, we decide? What, that was I do like twenty three. Where are the police? Hey, let's go to your like Trans Am. Okay. Oh, let's go. <laughs> cool. Let's go to my bedroom unattended. All right. He's a caddy. He's a caddy. He's a caddy. Hmm. 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 Is she wearing a dashiki? Yeah. Nowadays, you couldn't pull that off. White girl running around in a dashiki. Like, what? Is this my house dress? Man, back then, <laughs> your house dress, your, 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 your evening outfit. Like, man, I'll wear the same clothes for three days. I don't give a fuck. What? Oh my. Uh, guys wore suits around the house. No shit. That or a smoking jacket or some shit. Oh. Man, that Oh, dude, security. <laughs> man, that dude is tense. Man, I it, noticed that lately. <laughs> if his chin goes any further into his neck, it's going to touch his spine. It's like... <laughs> Uh -huh. What? Is, I like that he's Are wearing you? a he's wearing a trench coat. How appropriate! He looks like a gum <laughs> shoe. Is he about to flash somebody? Yeah, he looks like a gum shoe. Is a like an old lady, dude. Librarian. <laughs> Hi there. Would you like to see some porn? I made you a crocheted blanket. You it's can use it in the theater. No, no, it's gonna have to be a crocheted sock for this. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> he saw Snow White there. Oh God. 
doing the seven door siphon. Oh god. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> do you. Do you have your soundboard? He's gonna go in though. No, I don't. Oh, no. that would have been a perfect time for how dare you. I, I would if I could hear the TV better, I would I would try to do the soundboard effect. I don't know why you worried, bro. If they see you, they in there too. You're worrying about to blow the place up. Look at this. Getting his briefcase, trying to be all yeah. Is he taking notes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna take notes, notes for a case, but now he's like writing it down. Look oh, at his face. Man. If that's his O face, I'm surprised he's got two kids. Like, oh, that's not Times Square OG. That's like in LA, I believe. <laughs> oh, calm down, dude. This no wonder does. they charge seven fifty. This dude's in all casual. He doesn't give a shit. Popcorn and everything. I bet he knows him. You know what? I would imagine these porn movie theaters are probably similar to like the urinal rule, like you know. Don't sit next to each other unless you know unless you have to. But for God's sakes, you don't touch elbows and you don't talk and you don't look at each other. Yeah, I, I'd imagine <laughs> that, that, that. I think that's how like porn theater rules should be. Just like that, like men's bathroom rules. You know, that's just awkward. Mm -hmm. isn't it? This guy is acting so uptight. He must have like procreated through a hole in his sheet with his wife. Right. He's all like, oh, 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 oh my God, you're an x ray dude's talking about his Howie dude, <laughs> his in law, son in law. I, I don't think my brain could be on both those tracks at the same time, you know what I mean? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't hardly hear shit. Hmm. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh my. Oh, hmm. They didn't kill the stream yet, have they, Jesse? No, we're still the shows are still counting, and I am looking at it on my phone, so we're good. Okay, good. Okay, good, because when so far my stream's only been killed at least once, and that was the Friday the thirteenth one. And that pissed me off. Was it just the audio they got you for, or like I don't know. I, I don't know if it was the audio or if it was because I was showing it from a different, uh, like a a different um, web page that wasn't YouTube. Oh dear. Awkward. Oh, cool. Mm 
<laughs> oh god <laughs> He's all leering. <laughs> oh my. Classic comedy. Oh my. Oh my. Oh shit. Hmm. Yeah. We need some captions. It's probably in the gear on the right. Should be the CC button actually on the video. Uh, I think I saw it a second ago. Yep. Yeah. Oh. There we go. This way, if anyone can't hear it, they can read it. <laughs> but daddy no <laughs> and he's a wannabe <laughs> oh man Right. <laughs> Asking. Correction. Oh, 
Oh, I oh my! Everything he ever wanted, right there. You can tell. Now, how he's gonna have to go upstairs and like call that girl and be like, "Uh, yeah, never mind, cancel those plans, babe." Say <laughs> the girl in every port, you know. Right. <laughs> I wonder. Mm hmm. What? <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> the meltdown was real. Okay. Okay. That's hilarious. And we're on to episode three The Landlord. Let me make sure the closed captions are on. There we go. <laughs> all these <laughs> these falls he does man classic comedy they need to bring that back yeah they do yeah <laughs> <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Super groom. Oh my. <laughs> I may have to hop off oh and go find a container so I can, like, well, no worries. Mission fluid. It's all good. Uh, are you going to be doing this for a while? Yeah. All right. I would say because y'all could, like, what do they call it? Stream sniping? Yeah. So, like, you go by and visit? Yeah. So y'all are welcome to do that, but, like, I don't know when I'm going to start because I need to find a proper container so I can drain the fluid out of the car. Okay. 
So. Okay. No Good worries. One, 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 one. Have a good day. <laughs> we'll be around. Uh, Take care. I hope so, and I hope I'll see y'all later. Lots of hugs. All right. And hugs nice for you, Ian. Bye. <laughs> God. <laughs> Giant baggie. Hmm. <laughs> My uncle in Virginia had a water bed last time I saw him. Oh, did he? Yeah, it was it was not very nice actually. I don't know That's why water bag. beds aren't made much nowadays. A lot of apartments don't allow them, and a lot of people live in you know apartments or residential. There's more people renting now than there are owning homes. Yeah. So that's the only that's the only thing I could come up with. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. You can see the screen. It's so small. Well, of course, it's small. I I have well. I have <laughs> From my end. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, by the way. Thank you. You're we'll welcome. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Or should I say, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. This brings back some memories. I already told about how um, it was briefly a replacement for uh, Bewitched. Yeah, it's the same producers of Bewitched. Mm, okay. <laughs> it's kind of like All in the Family light. Yeah. Same family structure, but not as many heavy issues. Hey, Brian, Observer, how are you, sir? Hey, Curtis, how are you, sir? Sorry, I'm just catching up on chat. Jesse says, then she's like, do you fry this in the same fryers as the other food? <laughs> mm. <laughs> He's wearing overalls. That's a lot of denim. Hmm. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my. You're right, you're right, Curtis. Steve Carell does almost look like Paul Lind. When he played, um, Steve Carell played Paul Lind in the Be Bewitched remake, and he did like a spot on impression of Paul Lind. Wow. So well done. If they ever do decide to do a, uh, a new Paul Lind show, but with, you know, someone portraying Paul Lind, Steve Carell could probably pull it off. That's true. He probably could. He did such a good... Did you see the remake they did with uh, Will Ferrell and um, Nicole Kidman? A Bewitched? Um, oh, the uh, the Bewitched remake? Yeah. Um, it was a while ago. No, I did not see it. I saw promos for it, but I never actually saw the film. I never actually saw Bewitched, to be honest. Yeah, you you would like it. I mean, it's it's not it's campy, but it's pretty funny. But they have um, Steve Carell in that playing Paul Lynn's character, it, Uncle Arthur. Kind of like the along the lines of "I Dream of Genie." It's exactly along the lines of "I Dream of Genie." Mm. Yeah, just bewitched. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Enter guest stars. Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, my. Hmm. Ben Stiller's dad looking young. And Brian in chat says that guy looks like he owns the plantation. I think he's referring to uh, Jerry. <laughs> huh. <laughs> oh, so much shade going on. Good God. Anyone ever try a Constantinople? No, I have not. Has anyone in chat? What the hell is that anyway? It's just gin? I don't even know. Oh my. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs>
Oh, wow. Shade. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it is a drink. What's that? The Constantinople. Probably. Let me just look it up. So it's a cocktail. I'm looking up what a Constantinople is. Okay. Just interested because I've never heard of it. It's bourbon, fig liqueur, sweet vermouth infused with coffee. And also sweet vermouth without coffee and liquid smoke. You had apple peels, allspice, cloves, orange bitters, and cinnamon sticks. And huh. it's a lot of work for this drink, man. Yeah. You can also let it sit for two days and then you. To let it kind of hang out, I guess, balance the flavor. Ah, uh, that's gross. <laughs> I think that's why the your squirrel icon has like the blue mask thingy. <laughs> no, it's to protect my squirrel from the corona. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, let's see, Constantinople. That's an old school drink right there. Oh my god. Oh lord. And damp. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Which do you think should be more affectionate, mother or mom? I think mom is. Mother's out of respect. I, I mean, that's uh. the way it feels, you know? Good Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
God, the father and mother thing is killing me. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Things are going as he's planning. <laughs> you watch they end up she ends up getting pregnant unexpectedly <laughs> then Hallie will have a little sibling right uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> whoa that house coat shiver me timbers Hmm. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's oh, falling apart because he brought up. <laughs> That dude wants to die. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Throw in the pool. <sighs> Good God. <laughs> Got to get liquored up, honey. <laughs> the whole house got evicted. What? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Uh, <laughs> good God. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Really? I thought it was filmed on a set. Right. The studio audience is on the set, you silly goose. And now <laughs> we're on episode five. To commune or not commune? That's the question. That is the question. <laughs> you go on YouTube, see some of those Hollywood Squares episodes. They were classics. Yeah. Maybe we'll save that for another stream. Yeah, his zingers are great. That is a nice convertible and a nice yeah. view of the outside. Yeah. yeah. It's a I nice mean, vehicle. Are, the, the, that's what I like. The opening intro is nice. It's got nice scenery, but most of the show itself just takes place on the soundstage. Well, right. It's cheaper that way. You don't have to worry about weather conditions. So I take it the only, that, that's why the only the intro is outside. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> alligator briefcase yeah <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Not many people talk like that these days. Oh, I know. Can't even say a comment without somebody getting upset. Where's the Howie? Howie. They didn't do the one yet, my, my favorite line of all time on the show. Well, what was that? Where she asked, uh, she asked him, how goes the rat race, dear? Oh, oh, they did that already. That was the first episode. Okay, I figured that. The rat so me. That was great. one line I do remember more than any other. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. And the eggs. <laughs> the way he says the lines, man. <laughs> And there goes his briefcase. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you bet your life you're going to get it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
What the hell? Oh God. Ooh. There goes the trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Oh my God. Souped up kitty car. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get your liquor, honey. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he goes right back in the God. He harpooned his briefcase. Uh, <laughs> oh, what no. is the harpoon gun doing in a pool like that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. It is you twit. Yep. <laughs> Glad you told me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god Oh my. Oh my god. Mm 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> oh god i always love when the when the comic the the star of the show falls in the pool yeah the way that he was pointing that harpoon though he was trying to avoid getting hit right yeah you better run oh <gasps> oh <laughs> <laughs> and he just collapses there. <laughs> oh my god. The seller. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Ah, that hair, man. Hippie commune? Oh! <laughs> it's the title. Hippies! Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 got him a pillow. <laughs> oh my. Hippies. Is that Jodie Foster? I don't know. It looks like it. Yeah. That's a very young Jodie Foster, I think. Yep, that's Jodie Foster. Wow. I just double checked. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> that look. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Alphamar, welcome. Huh, don't think I've heard of Mind Your Language. I haven't seen that show. I had to think about that. I have to check that one out too. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Heather. I know you were there earlier, but I forgot to say hello. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, right the case. You're going to buy me a suitcase or a briefcase. My God. I'd hit him with it. Hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this stainless steel all righty and i think we're now on yep my favorite episode pollution Seven. solution dun, 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 dun. also uh as the episode's coming on i'd like to put a friendly reminder if anyone is interested on my uh video for the latest update for captain marvel 2 that'll be premiering in 15 minutes nice And kind of post. Well, I hope you had a good uh, nap or uh, night's sleep, Al. Sap. Oh, God. 
<laughs> mm. That suit. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's so angry. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, do we have to? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh my. <laughs> I actually took a high uh, class field trip my last year in high school. Went to Hershey Park. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Funny thing is, I love Reese's, yet when I went there, I blew all my money on rides and games. And when I <laughs> was just pulling out of the park, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is where Reese's are made, and I didn't get one? What is wrong with me? Oh, wow. And this is in Pennsylvania, correct? At the... 
<laughs> yeah, I haven't had the chance to go to the Hershey Park or any of that. Have to check it out one day. <laughs> well, I know this. If if I ever get there again, and I hope I do, I will make sure I get some Reese's. Yeah, absolutely. It's difficult to pronounce. Screw you. <laughs> Ocean Grove is that a is that an actual town? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Let me see. Yes, there is an ocean yeah, grove. Yes. And it's in Trinidad, California. Oh, okay. I mean, there's different places like that, but it's a very, there's a lot of places called Ocean Grove. Okay. Doing research for you. Yeah. Mass World's real good at research. I know, but I'm, sometimes, I'm a, sometimes I do half the homework. Sometimes I do all of it. Sometimes I do none. There's an ocean grove, New Jersey, but. You know, there's a lot of places for whatever reason in, in Trinidad, California, it's all Ocean Grove themed uh, for whatever reason. It's just that when I saw the opening, it kind of looked like um, like uh, Santa California. Monica almost. Yeah. I think that was California too, especially the way their style, their home is and stuff. Yeah. Dang it. Got to have that pool. Right. This is the small kitchen. God, that's a lot of blue. <laughs> one last time, just one last time, and I'll get over here and stay out of the way for the rest of the day. <laughs> and here come the Briders. <laughs> oh my god this is classic oh my Oh my. Yeah, I see this is why this is my favorite. This is the first time I heard the whole uh, you know, sexism where a woman is calling a a man a, you know, masochist or something like that right. and, uh, when it's not true, you know. It kind of remind me of the problems going on today. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Hope oil spoils. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Meltdown. <laughs> Look at him. That's ridiculous. <laughs> They're all saps. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, El, El Formo? El Formo. Yeah, I've seen Monty Python, Life of Brian. Have you seen that, uh, Mega Jetty? Oh, my stepdad loves Life of Brian, especially since Brian is his first name. It says, uh, El Formo says that there's a lot of feminist and SGW jokes there, especially on the arena scene. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen the Life of Brian, but it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding a, f a hose. <laughs> and in just one minute, my video will be premiering. Yeah, Al Formo, I knew you knew it was real. But I was trying to see if they had like a M&M's costume and they didn't have an M&M's costume, so, sadly. They had Kit Kat and icebreakers. Ridiculous. There's no M&M costumes as far as they had listed that I saw, which is a bummer. Hmm. You know what's funny? You see all these what they consider to be squares and like businessmen wearing these hipster glasses that we, yeah. you know what I mean? It's so funny. Yeah. Even though obviously that wasn't the thing then. It's just there are the irony. people wear business suits uh like those that nowadays, or at least that colorful. 
right? Like they used to wear fedoras a lot. Now fedora is like a relic. Right. That's when people actually wore hats and uh -huh. it looked elegant. Or at least like classy, I guess. I kind of wish they would bring back hats generally mm -hmm. for men and women. Yeah. I mean, that was one of the disguise parts of uh, Clark Kent's disguise as Superman was the fact that he wore a hat. Right. <laughs> Alphamar Dotelos. Dotelos? But I changed it to Alphamar Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Fake chauvinist nonsense. Oh. And she is hot. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now you see why this is my favorite episode? Not. <laughs> huh. Oh, you changed it to Alpha Mar Doritos now. Awesome. Yeah, Brian. He's like, you're live and premiere at the same time. Yeah. It's a Mega Jetty Inception. <laughs> yeah, it's my uh, news on the latest for Captain Marvel 2. And honestly, I if I'm really hoping what, uh, what, uh, what I read in the article it comes true. And my oh. idea is in consideration. Okay, I'll have to watch it. Afamoro says Obi-Wan voice fedoras are ah. for the time of much as civilized time. Ah, yeah. It's true. Sadly, we aren't in a civilized time nowadays. Woman in bikini. Re! <laughs> I believe there was like a like a show or Saturday Night Live where Princess Leia, played by Carrie Fisher, actually showed up, and then she took the white gown off, and she was actually in a gold bikini, not the not the uh, slave one, but an actual bikini. Oh, really? Yeah. Period. I haven't seen that. Mm. Now, if only corporations can sell things more like that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have Ridiculous. done the same thing.
<laughs> okay, I'm pausing it there because uh, the next one will uh, kind of go a little out of order, I think. Let me see. Okay. There we are. Episode 11, Paul's Sister Visits. Oh, okay. Let me scroll to that. All right, so we're in episode 11. Yeah, because uh, sadly, the person that uh, made these, I don't know if they were able to get all the episodes, so they got, like, mostly odd numbers and not all of them. Right. But, hey, at least we got enough to keep to make a full-length stream on. Right. Three Stooges. It says George's lunch. Ah. Really? Well, that, that was what it was called, George. I knew it was called George's. I didn't know it was it's called George's, George's restaurant. But oh, awesome. <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh my god Wow, that's a big gift box. Wow, Charlotte. Do I hear a little ticking? Ticking? Yeah, 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 you know, in the uh, box. Thought it was a bomb. Oh, so that's the actor Charlotte Ray. You might remember, a lot of people might remember her from the Facts of Life. Hmm. 
Wow, they actually have like a sofa in the in the kitchen area. How random. But the way the interior looks, it must be a nice big house. Yeah. Kind of like a ranch style home, I guess. So far, I don't think they've ever shown the actual upstairs of the of the uh the house. Yeah, I haven't I don't remember seeing it. <laughs> He's <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, shit. Ha <laughs> That is a dress. Holy crap. Yeah. I don't think that was fashionable even in the 70s. Whew. I liked her so much better as a redhead. Uh, is that a wig or is it dyed? That looks like it's... I don't know. That's a good question. That's true, because especially with wigs, that was a very big thing. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's terrible uh. <laughs> actually uh i believe in uh japanese hello is uh Arigato. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Ohayo Hosemasu. Hello, mustard? Okay, so my Japanese is a little rusty. <laughs> I got that one from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. <laughs> Male oh. chauvinist again? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> She's being a suffragette. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. 
<laughs> oh god <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, it's more like a bathrobe slash vest. Oh my God. Oh dear. See. Oh, wow. He's the charmer. Oh, man. Oh, dear. <laughs> He's a Japanese guy who's more American. He's almost borderline British. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> if you do hear clicking mega jetty it's because i'm just i mute myself when i'm because i'm eating so i'm muting myself in between <laughs> no worries i'm actually eating too okay <laughs> All right, first you will bring. Okay, first you will refill that, then you'll bring the cookies in here so I can open it properly. You know, I actually had this episode on one night, but I was just so tired. I couldn't follow it. I'm really upset that I didn't because this is good. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's 7 a.m. where you are, Al? Where, um, forgive me, but where are you from? It's like uh, 6.20 p.m. here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Yep, yeah, it's 520 here in Texas. Ooh, cold next weekend, boy. Almost longer on the thread because it's all work soon. There we go. Oh, and 
Do be sure to please even them up. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Oh. oh, snack time over there. Mm -hmm. I'll you if I take it one. <laughs> Why? Oh, you're from Southeast Asia? Awesome. Whereabouts? Whereabouts exactly, if I may ask. Oh. A <laughs> 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 uh, few more. I mean, uh, let me see. We're currently on episode 11, and I believe there was a, there's a total of nine. So the only one not nine? no the only one not on here is episode nine. I don't I believe so. Oh. So it's like one, three, seven, oh, 11, 13, 15, 17. Maybe. Yeah. That's right. Odd numbers. Odd numbers and not all. Oh, the Philippines. That's cool, Alpha Omar. Sorry, I have food in my mouth. I apologize. You know what's funny? Alpha Omar is my um oh. husband. My husband is his, his um he's a uh, Mexican. <laughs> and um, obvious from is, your name, yeah. Yeah, the Filipino Actually, is very similar. Actually, I thought maybe you were more like uh, Italianish. Mm. Okay, we're all right. Only a few more minutes left. I got pause before the end. Thank you. 
Uh oh. Seven thousand minutes ain't gonna go right. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Oh. Hey, Mega Jetty. Al Formo says that because of Al Formo, you know, asking why you thought he was Italian. Is it because oh. of the name? <laughs> Not to be trusted. <laughs> All right. Oh God! Now on to thirteen. Desperate hour. This one I do remember seeing. Okay. Okay. I'm lining up the episodes so that way I can hear it in stereo. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, Henry's outside. Uh huh. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Woo, 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 boy. That's my uh, neighbor's dog going to see us. Oh, is it? I was like, somebody has a puppy. Yeah, he, I didn't know he, a puppy. he always <laughs> comes, tries to pay us a visit whenever he can. Oh, what kind of dog is it? Um, I uh, hold on a second. Let me find out. Um, what kind of dog is Henry again? A Jack Russell Beagle. Oh, cute. Oh, a little fluffy, but not <laughs> at the same time. Oh, that was actually a smooth fur. Back then, they'd always clap with the main character comes in. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hippie genius. Cut and run home, oh, man. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> oh yeah, Alf, I, that is so true. The uh the SJWs don't know squat about history. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> it landed. <laughs> I like how he just goes after her all the time saying, strange. Yeah. Why are you so strange? And this just got real. God. And dopey. <laughs>
<laughs> Take it, she hates it. is out. God. <laughs> well, if you want to change it to Afro, then uh, that's that's your call, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jeez! Oh my! That <laughs> face. <laughs> Oh my. Wow. How about that? I would be if you weren't. Yeah, he's suddenly British. Oh, <laughs> my God.
Hey, Ancient One, welcome. Hey, Ancient One. I saw your message. I was just, I had just gotten on the stream. <laughs> Which we probably will. <laughs> Super chat, a colossal sized bag of premium nuts. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Ancient One. He always sends me like the best premiums. <laughs> In my premium safe in the treehouse. I guess full. the super chat thing from Zod streams is now carried over into mine. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Ancient One. I'll maybe responding to your message here in a little bit. That is an atrocious outfit. Actually, it looks nice to me. It looks like a modern Does Han it? Solo. Like a cozy <laughs> Han Solo look. It's the pants. I can't. Well, okay. I Maybe the pants could pants. be better, but the the long vest on the white shirt, that's not bad. <laughs> oh, my. Huh. 
Good God. <laughs> yeah. I see every stereotype in this episode. How fantastic. That was good. Oh. Now then, Which next one? one. Episode 15, actually. Okay. No, Burr, Mr. Nice Guy. Uh huh. Okay. I believe there's one more after this. Yeah, the episode 17, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, syncing it up. Try to sync it up just right. <laughs> Never did that old that scene that trip. Shit. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he, he means happy, not homosexual. Good God. Oh, well, thank you, Ancient One. I'll do my best to do a little more of that. Maybe if uh, when I get around to seeing all of Bewitched, I'll uh, see if I can find it on YouTube and we'll stream that. And I did promise it's a trap uh, for abductions that I'd try to uh, get into Generation 1 Transformers and screen that, too. Salute, perp-minded. Welcome. Hey, perp. What's up? Mm -hmm. Oh, God.
Sure. He's <laughs> <laughs> a pain in the ass, that guy, man. Hmm. <laughs> that hair. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still is. Yeah. I admit I had a hard time to getting criticized from the writing of my story as a kid from my mom, but it actually, I actually turned it around and used it to, you know, make it better. <laughs> uh, you know it's funny it's sally the daughter the little girl yeah she did um a voice in charlotte's web the original really? one from 73 wow for an i didn't know that Rabel. And she went on, she did a lot more, she does a lot of voice work. I mean, she's on, been on television series and things like that, but. Uh. Hey, um, Squirrel. Yo. Um, maybe, uh, I don't know when the next time you'll be available or not, but um, I was thinking next uh, watch party we do. What yeah. do you think of reviewing Re Willy Wonka? Oh, which one? That's uh, the original, the seventies movie. Absolutely, I'm up for it. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah, a great. Yeah, I, actually, I love that one. You I know, remember I, like I used to watch it a lot with my Mima back when I was a, a kid visiting her house. Right. And one day I just saw it at work and I decided to buy it on DVD. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I gotta. I have a copy of it somewhere. I gotta go looking for it. I really liked, I liked both the Willie, I know not everyone did, but I liked the Johnny Depp version too. Yeah, I liked it too, especially um, when my mom and I first watched it. We bought these like uh, chocolate pies from like the grocery store. It was mm -hmm. like those little mini pies that are in the, like a sort of like a six inch box or yes. six, four, four to six inches. And I think it's uh, Little Debbie's or something or Miss, uh, Miss B's or something like that. Those the like, chocolate pies, bud. Oh, like are they yeah. the moon pies? Or are you yeah. talking? Yeah, little Debbie pies. It's like uh it's sort of like a whole circle, but it's folded in half to make like a sand a, a, oh. a chocolate pie sandwich of sorts. Ah, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just can't remember the name of it. 
Yeah. Maybe somebody in chat remembers. I can't. Also, yeah. another fun fact about Sally, the daughter on this show. Yeah. Um, she also did the voice of Lucy Van Pelt from the 1969, A Boy Named Charlie Brown. Oh, wow. I did not know that. So she's a voice actress, even cool. though she was very young, but she still does stuff. So awesome. Her name is Pamela Verdon. Okay. I'll definitely look into that later. Maybe she's been in something that I've seen and I didn't know it. Right. She has a lot of stuff. She was on the original Kazam, or excuse oh. me. Yeah. Like from the, the original Shazam? Yeah. From like the 70s, early oh, 70s. Oh, wow. Right. So you, you watched the original Shazam show, right? Yes, I did. The youngest daughter in this show was in that. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. She had a small cameo in it. Yeah, small cameo. It's interesting. You never, I always look at the different actors on the show, see what they were in or familiar faces. I actually looked up that the girl. other day the uh, the hot blonde and the brunette from Pollution Solution, the one who tried to get it on oh, with uh, Paul yeah. Rick and the one that was in the bikini. They yeah. didn't do too much uh, beyond. I mean, they probably did a few other small roles, but not too much. Right. Like this blondie here. Uh, yeah. He didn't uh, go on to do much past the mid 90s. Oh. So a lot of his stuff kind of tapered off. He'd only stayed in television. Oh. But in this episode, um, the same, same episode we're watching right now, um, the character of Karen yeah. is Marcia Strassman. And oh. you would recognize her as the mom from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh, wow. And uh, so she did Tremors, the series, and, you know, a couple, she did a, a doctor role. She was on Welcome Back, Cotter, things like cool. that. Magnum P.I. Cool. Who? But yeah, Marcia Strassman. I recognized her name. But yeah. So she's in this episode, with a very young woman. <laughs> as Karen. But yeah, the uh, like I was saying, the chocolate pies. Mm -hmm. um, the first time me and my mom saw Charlie in the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp, we actually just got those for the first time, and which was kind of fitting because of the scene with the the Chocolate River. So now, whenever I have those chocolate pies, my mind immediately wanders to Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. I'm trying to remember which ones. Not the Star Crunch. They weren't the oatmeal cream pies, right? I don't think so. Were these fudge rounds? Um, it was more like uh, there was uh, the crust with uh, sugar oh. glaze all over it. Okay, then, I found them. They, they are called snack pies. The chocolate uh, filling. All right, I found them. In you fact, said, yeah, it, maybe, let me see if I can it, find it. Uh, no, I, I found it it's right here. Let me send, um, I'll send it to a chat okay. real quick. I, it, literally, you had the name right. You So chocolate snack pies. Is what they call chocolate them? Chocolate snack pies. Okay. Hold on, let me put this in the chat. <laughs> talking about snacks. <laughs> I know. But I, I knew you were talking about it. I was just like, is it named anything else in case like they've changed over the years? But it looks like they haven't, technically. Yeah, because I mean, I see them in uh, at Gar whenever we go to Garrity's. Whenever I have the money, I try to get as many as possible. Mm. Yeah, it looks like they still make them. I put the link in the, in the um, stream chat. Okay. I'll see. I can put it probably in the streamy. Got so many windows here. Oh, did I? Did, let's see. Did I switch the thing? Okay, good. Good. It didn't. <laughs> okay. Um, the pies do look like that, but not made by Little Debbie. I I can't remember okay. the exact name. Huh? But it has a similar look, I no, guess. No, no, no. Those chocolate pies, but you know, the ones that we get at the store, what are they called? Oh. That's the ones I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. The brand, maybe? Yeah, Is yeah. Older I think brand? It's a brand thing. Let me, let me see if I can. Okay, uh, let me see. Ah, got him. Let me, uh. Oh, mystery solved. Happy. Here, I'll, uh. I'm gonna send the picture to you in, uh, DMs. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. 
Oh, I haven't seen these before. JJ's Bakery. Yeah, it, it looks, looks good. I'll also put it in the uh, the uh, what you might call it the uh, stream the chat. So is that like a pudding filler? Um, I guess you could call it pudding. Like, I always just called it chocolate. Liquid chocolate. <laughs> You're like chocolate is chocolate to me. <laughs> yeah, I can't looks, help that. It, it looks good. We should do snacks the next time we do it. Like we'll have our like our movie watching snacks since we're watching Willy Wonka. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I can't uh, paste the Im the link to the image, but I can at least give the name of it. Let's see. Oh, they have all types. Yeah, whenever I get, I oh hey, I I oh I'm sorry, uh, Azalea, welcome to the stream. Oh, Azalea, how are you? She has a stream on Sunday night, I believe. Yes, ma'am, she has hers on Sunday night. Ah, uh, her, she's gonna do her Mario Maker uh, live stream where she plays levels cool. that people make. So yeah, the first time I actually heard of Azalea was during one of the Indie Monday promotions on It's a Trap Productions. Um. And but I but when I one day you know I saw I saw her stream and I said decided to go on and then I saw you on there I didn't know you two were tight. Oh no, Angel One introduced Azalea to me and I did a one on one with her. Oh. I, I might have to get you scheduled for a one on one soon because I had to take a little hiatus because I had to catch up on other stuff. Okay. And, um, but yeah, now that I'm going back on streams again and getting back into the swing of stuff, I'm gonna try to schedule one with you here. Probably with the next couple of weeks. I usually do it out by two weeks. So that way everyone has time, you know, go okay, with work you. and stuff. Anyway, I did post the link to all the pies. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> Mega Jenny's favorite snacks are the chocolate ones. <laughs> for Definitely. reference. They do look good. I think Middle Squirrel would really like those. He loves and, uh, Speaking pies. of the whole chocolate thing, um, isn't it ironic that Willy and Wonka and the Chocolate Factory focuses more on Charlie and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory focuses more on Willy Wonka. Yeah. <laughs> Willy's just like, eh. Yeah. There's arsenic. Because, <laughs> I mean, the story is the same. It's just the focus is more on the other in one version and then the other in the other version. Right. In this group... Is where and I like the is. idea that uh, Johnny Depp's Wonka was the son of uh, um, the Sir Christopher Lee, and uh, they had a fight, and then and that's one over the whole matter of making candy and chocolate. But then in the end, you know, right? It was a that was good. I liked that. Yeah, I liked the story they did with that. that. To me, I mean, I thought that the whole uh, Burton's Wonka was going to go like a more be more of a darker, edgy version, but I I. That ending is kind of what uh, brought made it good for me. Yeah. It's the way they went about bringing it together. Yeah. Now I want to try and imagine an amalgam of the original 70s version and the uh, Tim Burton one. Yeah. I liked them both individually for like different reasons. I know a lot of people didn't like the new one. I did. I like Yeah, it. it's kind of like a day and night uh, version. Both are great in their own unique way. Yeah, Azalea did a very good job on her first two live streams. Uh, oh, her ones. first two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. She's doing really well. I know it's well, a little different. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little different than doing videos, but she's doing it really well. Well, if ever I'm not busy and uh, and when she's streaming, then I will gladly be part of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Willy Wonka's father is Count Dooku. Willy Wonka <laughs> really didn't want to be a dark Jedi and made chocolate instead. <laughs> and those are who just popped in in part of this group one of the actresses that's in this group of people she just has a small speaking part is miss marcia strassman she was yeah. the mom from honey i shrunk the kids 
Yeah. This is her very young. So she's in this group. I think she's the one with the short hair, but I, it's hard to tell because they aren't really, you know, okay. Giving it a uh -huh. close up per se, but that one, I think. It's like cult therapy. Uh huh. Good God. Woo saw. And <laughs> woo saw. <laughs> A bunch of men hugging and kissing. Now that's some cult shit. Yeah. Part of my friend. <laughs> or Spanish, actually, I think. Absolutely, Azalea. Thanks for having your streams. I know it can be a long stream, too. But she handles it really well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's having a meltdown. <laughs> Just <laughs> love you. Hate your friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Ancient One. Yeah, I just recently reached uh, 400. It was actually, um, give me a moment. Uh, I believe I when I posted the, uh, the stream, it was, yep, about three weeks ago. Finally hit 400. Wow. You're at four, look, is it 411 right now? Oh yeah! Oh wow! I'm 412 now. Oh, you're 412. Okay. Yeah, I really I went up during this uh, stream. I yeah. Was, the highest I had reached was 409. Then I dropped two uh, yeah. the last few days, but now I'm back. I'm gone up again. Good. Yeah, I didn't. Ref I haven't refreshed this. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, congrats, Mega Jetty. That's a big thing. I was looking at the mom on here too. Um, I Elizabeth think Allen. actually been Paul Lynn's wife. Let me shovel check and see. She um she was known for the Fugitive, the original Fugitive in '63. Oh, yeah. yeah, I never and, saw the original Fugitive. I'm only familiar with the uh, the Harrison Ford and Jamie uh, uh Tommy Lee Jones movie. Right. The original is good. It's yeah, really good. But she also was in um, Donovan's Reef with John Wayne. And she was in the Alfred Hitchcock Hour. Ah. So she, and also the Carrie Treatment, which I have not heard of that film. But she did a lot of work. Um, <laughs> all right, let me see who she was married to. Oh, I know, I know Paul Lynn had a very interesting. I, okay, is it on the right one? Uh, episode 19? Oh. Is that where we're going? Oh, Episode. Oh, I, oh, okay. My mistake. We got two more now. Okay. So it's 19 and 17, right? Okay. And then okay. when this is over, I'll just hit the back button and that way we can go back to that one. Which one are we going to now? Oh, we're on 17 now. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Yeah. I want to try and go in as or early as possible. Okay, cool. Even if the, the, they were uploaded into the, uh, the playlist out of order. Right. So yeah, I thank everyone for uh, for subbing and getting me up to four twelve. Okay, cool. I'm all synced up now. Oh, let me see here. <laughs> no, um, 
Elizabeth Allen, who plays the wife, she was never married to him. Um, the thing about Paul Lind is I don't believe he ever married, but um, she oh. did. She actually married a baron, and they oh, only wow. were married a few years and divorced in the 50s. Um, she didn't have any kids. Oh. Um, Paul Lund. Yeah, he was never married. Let me guess. No, there was no woman alive at the time to handle such uh, powerful personalities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or it was just the way the industry was. Who knows, uh, right? Uh, but Paul did have two sisters. <laughs> I watched something with him um, about his biography at one point. Steve Carell for a Paul Lind movie. Yeah. I can see He's that. already played him once. He could do it. Yeah. He does a perfect impression. I absolutely recommend seeing Steve Carell's um, impression yeah. of Paul Lind. It's so good. Heck, they can even make the movie uh, like this show. That would be hilarious. That would be perfect. That takes some range to play both Paul Lynn and Donald Rumsfeld. That's a <laughs> that is an actor. Yeah. And what I and I and I think it could work because they did the Three Stooges film, and even though they weren't the actual Stooges themselves, they did good, very good impressions of them. Yes. I love that movie. I have it on Blu-ray and DVD. And of course, The Office was actually supposedly set in Scranton, Pennsylvania, where we live. The so. American version. Yeah, the American version. Ricky Gervais was in the British one. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. mean, but not as, not as cool. Yeah, he does look like the guy uh, from the show. That's why he'd be perfect to play the role. <laughs> I'm sure he can he can make it work. Good. He might not need to though. I mean, just the look itself might be enough. Yeah, he just needs to pull off that wide grin. Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you, you gotta see that impression that Steve Carell does. It's so good. Oh, I will definitely look into that. Thank you. Yeah, Portland died too young. How old? I think he was uh, maybe early 50s. 50? He, had a, he had a heart attack. Oh, man. Heart attack. A lot of alcoholism. Yeah. I mean, he does drink a lot of uh, martinis in this. Well, I don't he, know he was real alcohol in the show. But he Paul Lynn was 82. Or excuse me, 55. He died in 1982. He passed away in 82, you said? Yeah, he was 55. Okay. And it says uh, cardiac arrest. Wow. Oh. But yeah, I had a severe <laughs> alcohol problem. Oh man, that's that's priceless. Oh wait, wait, wrong one, wrong one. The it hasn't loaded up here on the uh, on the uh, okay, there it is. That is priceless. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs>
much. <laughs> so much anger. Yeah. <laughs> I posted the clip in the chat of Steve Carell as Uncle Arthur when he was playing, playing Paul Lind in Bewitched. For anybody interested, because it is nails it perfectly. <laughs> I'm actually surprised they brought the uh, Howie's parents back. Why can't you take them home with you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you for the link, Mad Squirrel. I'll definitely uh, check this out after the stream. Not a problem. <laughs> the code. <laughs> Good one. Good one, Al. Man, that hair.
Uh oh. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so upset. <laughs> oh, well, have a good night, Azalea. Oh, good night, Azalea. I'll probably see you tomorrow. <laughs> Azalea will be doing her live stream tomorrow in the evening. Yeah, fun group. Okay, I'm going to mute myself for just a moment, but I will be right back. No worries. Oh, my. Stupid. Ridiculous. I'm going to post a link to Azalea's channel. There we go.
Mm. I think I got that right. <clears throat> God, I like how bitter all is. Makes it all worth watching. <laughs> Witness Paul Lynn having a meltdown. Good Lord. <clears throat> Oh my. <laughs> There's a phrase to carry. He topped the bottle. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. I'm find out my work schedule for the week. Oh, no worries. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Ancient One. That's so true. Azalea's got it total coverage now. She's got all the forest animals and guinea pigs. And soon she'll have uh, machines like a Terminator. Exactly. <laughs> so, much, so much protection in her garden. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're a fan of Terminator, right, Mit Mad Squirrel? Yeah. I, I did am. a uh, what if on my uh, Techcom channel. Oh, did you? Yeah. I was inspired by, you know, channels like Star Wars Theory and Dash Star and all that with their what if fanfic stories. Right. So, my first one, a 26 and a half minute video on what if Reese failed to save Sarah. Oh. I'm actually getting ready to work on a second one for, uh, if not tomorrow, then Monday. Right. It's, bas it's basically, um, uh, what if no cops stopped the uh, bombing of Cyberdyne? Hmm. That's one of those things I get when we start getting into that. Yeah. What if canon? And you're like, well. <laughs> yeah. I mean. You don't you want deep. things to go horrible, but at the same right. time, you know some things are going to get bad and dark. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I like it when, when I, those kind of scenarios with some canon, just to see what if. Like, yeah. Where could the story have changed or gone in a different direction? Definitely. And I'm going to do my best to make the second one a little shorter than the than the first one, but if you're into like novel-like novel uh, videos, I think right. you might like that one. Okay. I'll have to check it out. I'm still catching up on videos. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, let me see if I can find the link and I'll, uh, DM it to you. Cool. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. 
<laughs> All right. All right. So now we're on after this on 19, right? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm just making sure. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you for the link, Mega Jetty. No problem. Or should I say, no problemo. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 it's cute. All righty. Last All right. one. Yep. Episode 19. Congressman's son. <laughs> there goes his papers. <laughs> you know, if this show had gotten more than one season, if they go, if it had gone past season one, there's a good chance we would have seen them actually film outdoors like in the opening here. I like to think that would have been the case. Yeah, I agree. I mean, don't get me wrong. The sound, the the interior looks nice for the house, but it, I, 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 with the way the opening looks, it would have been nice to see some more uh, outdoor filming. Yeah, I agree. Must have been their funding at the time or something, because it wasn't cheap to film outdoors and all this stuff. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, even the outdoor bit with the pool, you can tell it's inside a soundstage because it has that feel for it. You probably didn't have enough of a budget to film outdoors. Huh, Twitter. Apparently they said Twitter even before there even was a Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> All a <of> Twitter. <laughs> oh my. That's back when hostessing was like a thing. Oh, we're having company. Let's get out the snacks. Mm. And the flower arrangement and tea and coffee and liquor. The oh, way he says it. Where is the villa of the Riviera? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of familiar faces in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Bosley.
Yeah, the congressman there, he actually does look familiar. I feel that's, like I've seen him before. That's Tom, that's, that's Tom Bosley from Happy Days. He played the father, and, and he was on a ton of other stuff. Um, like, uh, what do you call it? Um, cut, well, actually, a lot of movies, but he was on a, another series, I think. I know he had cameos on different stuff. Like Walker, Texas Ranger, and One Tree Hill. Walker, Texas Ranger was it. Um, but he also had a series called Father Dowling Mysteries and Nick from 89 to 91. Oh, uh, Tom Bosley. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy days. Yeah. He was Mr. C. He passed away in 2010. Ah. He and he also <laughs> the only character that was in every single episode of Happy Days. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Get him out of here. He's a hippie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, the young man who plays Willie, mm. uh, Stephen Nathan. He went on to become a writer for Bones. Wow. Or excuse me, a producer for Bones, the TV series. And also he did other comedy specials and things like that. Uh, also Ooh. Joan of Arcadia. He was oh, an executive producer. Yeah, and I watched Joan of Arcadia. Yeah. He, he's, he's done quite a bit of work in television as an executive and regular producer and a writer. Mm-hmm. So that's where Stephen Nathan went. <laughs> Hillary Duff and her sister guest on that show, Joan of Arcadia. Yes. Huh. 
and call the council. It is a rubber council. Yeah, but still, better safe than sorry. <laughs> oh god <laughs> and you're right he's just so witty with this show i just i'm i wish i had this same kind of wit he just says things in a certain way it's just perfect you know mm. larry is gordon jump that's the uh, guy in the green hat. He's had a ton of work. He was on WKRP in Cincinnati in 78 and Soap. Cool. And Get Smart. He did a lot. Of, and also um, the Conquest. Get Smart, right? Yes. Okay. The one from the 60s. And then he was in one of the Planet of the Ape movies. But Soap uh -huh. was another series I love. That he was on that. But WKRP. A few episodes ago, Paul Lind uh, referenced the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Ouch. oh my God. <laughs> Sometimes those hard hats don't know their own strength when they give the old rib punch. Ah. <laughs> 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 Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy in the yellow hat is Paul Swarson. He had a role in Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. He was a captain. Oh. He was also in Charlie's Angels as Earl Jackson, the original Charlie's Angels from 1978. Oh. And he was on Dallas and right. Ham High, some of the movies so from the 60s. Who your favorite Charlie's Angel is. <laughs> Jacqueline Smith. Jacqueline Smith. Kelly. Um, but also Paul was also on Mary Tyler Moore. Only a couple mm -hmm. episodes. Hmm. 
Oh <laughs> <Little> guy. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> He hung up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's probably the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I just realized something. What? The name Landis for the congressman gives me an idea for a character I can name. Lance Landis. Double L. <laughs> yeah. yeah, kind of like uh, the old Superman uh, stories. Right. <laughs> oh god. Oh rough. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> it's called acid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how he is fit. Oh, God. <laughs> that was good. Yep. Okay. I think that's the last of it. Yes, sir. I think we got through it. At least all the available ones on that yeah. playlist. Ah, uh, Pauline. Always fun. Very Always classic. appreciate it. Absolutely. Oh, uh, how do I X this out? I think. There we go. Yep. Good to go. Well, I enjoyed it. It was really fun to sit and watch all of them. I mean, at least the ones yeah. that are available. It's always fun to sit and watch that show. Definitely. I was actually, I was, I was, I was really kind of hoping, you know, when I asked you that you might have seen it or even heard of it. This mm -hmm. way I, you know, host co-host it with someone. Yeah, it's it's been a while. I remember when I caught one or two episodes way back when, and there just wasn't anything available online, but I was like, what is this? I had never seen it before, not even in like um, reruns. Mm -hmm. in, I think TV Land did it for like a very small window, but I never saw it again. You know, this is before, actually, it was on Nick at Night. Wow. It's on Nick at Night? Yeah, for a very short window. 
Like, oh, I don't wow. remember them playing I mean, it. I remember watching Nickelodeon a lot as a kid. Nick at Night didn't interest me too much because it seemed right. a little uh, un Nickelodeon like. It was right. Like, oh, Nick at Night. So, but yeah, um, if I had seen this back then, I probably would have watched it. Yeah, it was like I saw like one episode. And they would only play it every so often. It wasn't like they were playing it consistently. Because you remember, I don't know, Nick at Night used to be like that, where it was just kind of like all over the place. But they would put filler episodes in of other old TV shows. And this yeah. was one of them. So when I spotted it on YouTube by accident, I was like, oh, my God, this is a thing. You know, because I just thought it was, you know, obviously it didn't last very long, the show. But I never had seen any of the other episodes. So it was like being able to watch at least a couple was nice at the time. So, yeah, I enjoyed watching all of them. Okay. At least ones that are available. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I had a lot of fun. It was really cool. Hey, I was glad to have the fun with you. Oh, cool. Yeah, and when Moira was here, it was definitely a reunion of our, uh, of the 100th video. Right. Yeah, it was nice to have that little mini moment. I forgot about it. I was like, oh, yeah, wait a minute. That was yeah, the last I time. Mean, it was 100th. I never even knew. Uh, I may have heard the name floating around a little, but I never actually officially met Moira until that stream. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. That may, I remember that was a while ago. It feels like ages ago, doesn't it? It's like, yeah. It's actually one of my, uh, my one of my, whatchamacallit, um, my popular, most popular videos. Um, give me, let me uh, first stop that screen share and then I'll uh, move over to the screen share of that one. Um, there we go. Yeah. Um, my, uh, my first tech com uh, Terminator lore vid, which was on my, on this channel was, is now my most uh, viewed three mm -hmm. point uh, three K views. And wow. then the Firewalker watch party is my second. Man, I remember that. That's the new movie. I was trying to tell Com Squirrel what was last, like, as far as, like, one of the first ones I sat with you on. Yeah. Uh, that you invited me to, and I remember it was that one. Even though we had done other, you know, streams, that was the first, like, watch party. Um, yeah. And uh, I kept saying Chuck Norris, and then I remember the knife, right? Because mm -hmm. we talked about the knife in passing about having one made <laughs> to yeah. replicate the one in the film. And he was like, Chuck Norris because that sounds familiar he remembers me being on it I just couldn't recall the name and I said I, I know I'm going to be mad at myself see it was Firewalker Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what's ironic when I first started my channel um where is it uh here it is my hashtag I stand with Alita Alita Battle Angel review that mm -hmm. was my most viewed video uh for a long while that was my number one video That's good. but uh it like got up to 293 views and didn't go beyond that. You get good traction on your videos though. Yeah. You and know? then all of a sudden, like all these other ones uh, gain more traction. Like uh, obviously the, the, the rise of Skywalker one will get a lot of views. Right. But I was surprised the whole late star Wars theory, my, my two Terminator lore, well, actually three Terminator lore vids, uh, the sex appeal vid and the Firewalker watch party. I'm surprised they all beat out my Alita review. That's hilarious. Man, so seven months ago is when we did that. That feels like, I don't know why that feels longer ago. Like, yeah, I don't it know. definitely feels longer. Because when you said that, I was like, oh my God, when was that? But I remember I remember being there. I remember watching the film, having <coughs> discussions. Yeah, it's hilarious. I, my memory is like, it's kind of foggy. Seven months for apparently, like apparently is very foggy. <laughs> Well, that's okay, because uh, if you ever want to go back and rewatch it, it's it's there it's to be seen. That's cool. At that's least for the cool. moment, because uh, give me one second. I'm going to click on it for a moment. I'm going to pause. Um, someone in the comments decided to say, what is this anyway? I also reported it. To which I replied, a watch party. And report it for what? Being honest? And then another person says, reported. Really, like, what the hell? Why are they reporting this? And, I mean, there's nothing to report about it. Yeah, there wasn't anything on there. We didn't uh, show the movie. Yeah, they were probably just butthurt because the movie wasn't uploaded. <laughs> so yeah, well, watch it. Like this was me back in the, the Stone Age of streaming where uh, we couldn't show the content and we had, and there was only our icons. And But at least the movie could be heard, right? Yeah, somewhat. Yeah, I know that all of us were watching it on some different service. I think yeah. you were you were playing audio. That was the only thing. 
yeah, I thought maybe that could help since there wasn't any, you know, uh, visuals. Right. Makes sense. Yeah, I don't think people understand what watch parties are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of learned about them from the rookie critic, and, you know, it seemed like a good idea. I thought to myself, hey, maybe I can get into that myself. You know, we could watch a movie and then talk while we while we watch. Yeah, kind of like a mystery science theater type thing in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like but thankfully, I now know of a particular way in which we can do it, like mystery science theater, without, you know... Um, you know, the people, the audience feeling like they're, they're not getting any visuals, the whole Paul Lynn show being streamed, being an example. Right. I think, I think there's like certain things you can get away with just because they're not really necessarily copyrighted anymore, or at least not utilized. Yeah. But yeah, like there's a lot of shows on YouTube that I'm always surprised if I find like a, a watch list. I can't remember what I was just watching recently. I don't know. I have to go hunt every now and then. Like I was looking for all the Benson episodes. I found those, but they were on like, I think it, they were on like BMO or something like that. Not BMO. Which one was it? I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't remember. I'm doing great. But it was one of those third party sites outside of YouTube. And um, I was able to find it on there. But man, it was a pain in the butt. Because <laughs> I just yeah. wanted to watch as many as I could. Maybe that's why my darn uh, Friday the 13th uh, attempt uh, watch party got a uh, got canned after 20 minutes because I was streaming the, the movie from a third party site that wasn't YouTube. Oh yeah. If not that, then it was the audio. But my point is the uh, 20 minutes in the darn thing got pulled and I can't even review, rewatch it on my, in my, the privacy of my own ch uh, channel. Right. It's stupid. Like, it's I don't know. I, I understand I something. Kind of violation in a, uh, Actually, uh, let me quickly see if I could pull it up. Um, where is it? Uh, YouTube Beta Studio. I won't, uh, it shouldn't take m uh, much. Let me just uh, live stream. Where is it? If it's even here. No, I don't think it is. They removed it. Yeah, they removed it from here. But it's obvious. But it was uh, uh it's on the uh, old style one. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's if you ever do want to watch the uh the watch party that uh me and Moira did for Halloween four back in Halloween. Right. Uh, it's here too. Oh, okay. I remember that. Yeah, that was the first time I tried the whole uh, showing the video but muting the 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 volume except uh in the background for in our in our own home. Right. So, and that went, yeah, that went okay. Be, so that's good. And that's good. Um, yeah, I guess uh, that's a stream. Cool. Hey, man. Would you like to plug your channel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. No worries. Um, yeah, you guys can find me at um, Mad Squirrel Conversation on YouTube. That's the full name of the channel. And you can find me on Twitter, SGT, Mad Squirrel. And uh yeah, I should. Uh, we've been doing uh, news roundtables every, um, and we we record pre-record them because there's so many streams that are going on around the same time that you know we're able to get everybody online. Um, but we do like a news roundtable on, and it's posted on Tuesday morning, and it's usually talking about like the current news cycle and stuff going on. We've been following the um, coronavirus stuff and um, just you know doing more i guess accurate reporting and then also any other stuff that's you know stuff that strikes us in the news it could be all types of stuff but we try we've been trying to kind of get off of the pol political crap because it's all crap anyway mm. um and just keeping on other topics that are more relevant um but then uh, i'll be actually posting some interviews hopefully in the next couple of weeks i've just been kind of taking a getting slowly back into things because uh, small squirrels and stuff going on here in the house, but yeah, that's about it for me. <laughs> so, yeah, this was a lot of fun though. I really love Turner, aka Mega Jetty One. You can bet on that, and you can also bet that uh, I actually posted a video in the middle of the. Actually, it was set to premiere in the middle of the the watch party. So, if anyone who hadn't seen it uh, would like to check it out, it's uh, the one that's being screen shared. The one that says Anna Paquin's Rogue and Captain Marvel Two. I cover the in that video. I cover the the article that I read this information in, as well as give my personal thoughts of how I'd like the movie to go and whatnot. Right. And then I also have a second channel um, called TechCom. 
Uh, it's where I preserve term. It's basically preserving Terminator law since 1984. And uh, yeah, I got covered. I cover a lot of things. I got a, a long stream review of Terminator Resistance, uh, Secret Ending, lore videos on gear and weaponry, and what if videos and such. So yeah, feel free to check both out if you're interested. Hmm. Yeah, that'll be cool. Now you have a lot of material coming out and your tech comm channels really, you know, I think it's like, I know it's a process of putting up videos and getting them up and having, because I know you're very particular about yeah. how you get information out and that, that it's not only accurately done, but it stays true to what you're discussing and it's not just well, thrown together. You true. Know? As accurate as possible. Cause when I did the one on uh whatchamacallit, um, uh, let's see how far is it here. The, the blue one that says Techcom Terminator Lore Gear and Weaponry Part 1. Um, mm. One of the th images you can see there is basically the uh, phase plasma rifle used by Terminators. The, uh, there's some discrepancies within the lore itself because um, the weapon itself is like a... Um, it's supposed to be called the M27 uh, phase plasma rifle because the, hu the Techcom Human Resistance version is called the M25. But in the no the Freaks and Witcher novels, it's actually called the M95A1. And in Terminator 2, they upgraded to M95A2. So there's some discrepancies there and whatnot. Right. But yeah, I, I just put it as uh, due to conflicting reports. Right. <laughs> oh, man. I at least have an idea of what I can give people an idea of what I know. Right, exactly. At least you yeah. give them a platform to kind of run with a little bit. Yeah. Well, but even so, despite the differing names of the weapon, uh, mm -hmm. one thing that has been uh, almost consistent with it is the fact that it only shoots plasma bolts. But I personally feel like they could do more than that because um, there's like two barrels on that weapon. There's like a big, thick barrel on top and a small, thin barrel on the bottom. It's always the plasma coming out of the big, thick barrel. But personally, I think the plasma should come out of the small, thin, lower barrel, while the upper barrel, the big one, shoots out grenades like a grenade launcher. And that's mm -hmm. for the bullpup clip in the back. Interesting. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> Me without yeah. sound clips, but the more you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it man. Uh, extra detail like that every now and then. Right. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, it's been, what? wow, four, and, four hours and 17 minutes. Yes, sir. I was looking at time going, oh, my. I, <laughs> I have to go here shortly because I have to go and uh, wrangle some squirrels. But okay, Well, you take care of the squirrels and uh, you have a good night, okay? All right, thank you so much, Megadee. I had a lot of fun. You're and, very uh, welcome. And I Everyone look forward to having you on again. Thank you, sir. Say goodbye to the to I guess what would we call him? Optimus Meg Prime Mega Jetty? I don't remember. Uh, tech crew. How's that? Tech crew. All right. Yeah. Nod off to him and everyone have a good night. And yeah. you too. Thanks, Mega Jetty. No worries.